Hey, this is your monthly word of exhortation. Vision is the power that sustains. The theme verse I want to bring to you is from Proverbs 29, 18. Where there is no vision, the people perish. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this wonderful group of people around the world. It's such an honor and a blessing to be able to share and to speak into their lives. Now I'm asking that a portion of that of which you've given me the ability to look into, that you would open it up for them as well. That it wouldn't be where there is no vision, the people perish. It'll be the very opposite. Where there is vision, you will prosper. Well, I want to read to you an opening quote that comes from my newest book, Revival Breakthrough, Preparing for Seasons of Glory, Awakening, and the Great Harvest. A great harvest is coming. What is this harvest ultimately about? It is about God's deep love for all those whom he has created. It is about his desire that no one should perish, but that everyone should be saved and be restored to a passionate individual relationship of love and oneness with him. I'm going to also now bring you a couple of quotes from one of my books. It's actually the book that has been the most widely read out of all the 45 books that either I have written or I have co-authored, and you know the one that I'm talking about. It's called The Seer. Elisha was a man of vision, right? He was a person of revelation. And he never let go of it. What about you? I don't know what prophetic promise the Lord may have spoken to you. But as believers, we have the biblical promises as well as the current day revelatory words that are spoken into each of our individual lives which come into, yes, a multiplicity of ways and manners, don't they? Sometimes they come by the quiet, still witness of the Spirit, and at other times through dreams and visions. They may come from God directly to you and through someone else speaking to you. What they have perceived and received from God. Or maybe they've come through some other unusual manner like, oh, Balaam's ass that opened up and talked. Whatever the case, don't cast away your dream, for it will have a great reward. Don't take off your dream coat in the presence of your enemy. Did you get that one? Don't cast off your dream coat in the presence of your enemy. Keep the vision God has given you before your eyes. Vision is a power that sustains a people. Now, saying it real succinct in another quote from the seer, Vision is the power that sustains. Whatever we keep in front of our eyes will determine our outcome. You see, it's important what we keep in front of what we call our eye gate, isn't it? I want to just speak a word of blessing to you, my friends, my partners, and the people around the world that follow me and follow this ministry, whether you're new or have been walking with me for years. I want to say to you, let's put the right things in front of our eyes. Keep your hand to the plow 
and keep looking straight ahead. But I want you to know this. It's not as much about the promises of God. It's about the God who promises. That's the vision that will keep us moving forward. Let's pray together. We hunger and thirst for more of an increasing measure of your presence, for an increasing fulfillment of your promises. And we ask that you would move upon our hearts by the Holy Spirit to awaken us to the times, yes, in which we live. And let us honor the precious stewardship that we have been given for these days. Revive us and revive your work in the midst of these times. Thank you in advance for your insights and revelations for us. For your holy name's sake, amen and amen. This is James Gall with a monthly word of exhortation for you. Vision, the power that sustains. God bless you.